Hello and welcome to Terraria. My name is Todd, also known as Major Mech, and this is of course Terraria. Last time we left off completing our Spectre armor and kind of testing it out against a mechanical boss. This time around I figure we're just going to dive straight in into some combat and we're going to go fight the um, jungle temple. Now um, I have changed around my potions. I've gotten things a little bit more organized since previously. Um, our major thing is, is that uh, I'm going to focus on our potions that give us pure damage, um, potentially even in the later stages foregoing our magic damage buffing potions, um, just because pure damage overall might be more useful because we may be changing around weapons during the middle of a fight and that's just going to be what it is. The only potion that is specific that I may keep is the summoning potion just because minions are something you'll always have out and you'll always kind of need. So we're going to summon as many of those as we can right now. Um, we're also going to rebuff up real quick with our altars, because we're going to have to go fight the big boy. Oh, and I also need shine. Actually, no, I don't need shine. So we're going to be fighting, of course, uh, let's see, actually, because of that, let's get rid of mana regeneration. We don't really need that at the moment. Um, the magic damage will still be useful to us, though. Uh, we don't really need mobility when we're fighting the... Uh, jungle guardian or the temple guardian or however you want to phrase him or uh, call him um, we are going to be pretty much staying in like one specific area and also I'm going to be using this like uh, inferno potion I don't know if it's going to be super useful to us but we'll kind of have to see as time goes on here uh, superior hurtful yep so there, our major focus here when fighting um, the jungle golem is I'm going to be swapping between my magic attacks to gain the benefit, of course, of our Spectre Armor, and the Vampire Knives, which will give us, of course, even more healing back, which is going to be my main goal. I want to survive this fight. That's our whole focus. So I'll be putting up the clouds, I'll be putting down a lot of magic attacks, but I'll be focusing on dealing damage with the Vampire Knives, not a magic weapon. Uh, even though magic weapons are great and all. And they do a lot of damage. Man, that that guy did a massive amount of damage. I just realized that I have the Paladin's Hammer, but it's a shoddy one. Why do I have that? Uh, I'm just going to take that off for the moment. I'm going to put this here. And I would prefer not to die before I even get there. Thanks, guys. So we do have those. And we will probably need those at some point. We do also have pumpkin pies, just in case. So maybe we'll put that there. Just for the moment. Um, we want to use our magic items to gain some health back here. So Spectre Armor does work, um, as it always did. Um, I did do a little bit of research into it, but they did put a cap of how much healing you can get back from it. Um, and it also works more like life regeneration than it does anything else. So it's not as good as it used to be. It used to be that it was like a flat healing amount. And it was just kind of bonkers. Because you could hit something with something and... or hit an enemy with it, and it would literally just r destroy them, and also give you a ton of health, and I just mean a literal ton. But, no worries there, we've got, definitely got the weapons we need to be able to handle. Uh, the jungle temple here, I just gotta remember where it is. I already passed it at some point. I know it's here. Oh, I did also update um, my mods. So things might look a little bit differently, and we might see stuff we haven't seen before. I'm hoping that doesn't happen too often, as that would be kind of spooky. Ooh. That guy hits real hard. But he's not actually that scary, huh? I want to get out of that honey there. Just murderize that guy. Absent Fury, huh? Oh, maybe we've seen that enemy before then. I feel like we've gotten that item before. Where is my jungle temple? I know it's down here somewhere. I could swore I've seen it before. Am I going crazy? Let me search my map a little bit better. I don't see it here. I thought it was somewhere around there, but I could be wrong. We'll just head downwards and kind of see if we can see it. It's got to be somewhere, after all. Uh, 
definitely got lots of beehives, that's for sure. I don't see it anywhere over here. What about over here? Oh, it doesn't appear that it's over here. At least not that I can see. I hope something weird didn't happen and somehow our jungle temple got deleted. That'd be weird. If that was the case, that would be very, very strange. Ow. Stupid turtle. Uh, nope, I'm not seeing it over there. It's kind of the edge of their jungle, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe it's down even further? Or maybe it's somewhere up here and I just didn't notice it. It's gotta be somewhere. We'll find it eventually. Oh, I need to go down and over. Okay. Without our um, shine potion, we are kind of at a slight disadvantage. I really should have been more prepared in knowing where the jungle temple was before trying to deal with it. We're probably going to run out of our summoning potion and whatnot before we even get there at this rate. But I'm hoping we don't. Oh, I just realized we could also be looking for life fruits while we're down here. Um, got lots of stuff to do in this jungle. Lots and lots of stuff to do. Just not seeing any signs of the jungle temple here. Nor am I seeing any life fruits. Surely the jungle temple has to be somewhere though. Um, seeing magma stuff. I'm thinking maybe around this area here is where it actually was. Let's head over towards our other elevator, and we'll see if we can't find it. Melee weapon proficiency. So Calamity added this whole thing with weapon proficiencies, and I don't know how actually useful it is. I know that there's also a lot of interesting stuff to do with rogues and um, kind of thrower classes and whatnot, so I don't know how massively useful that is. I haven't really had a chance to play around with it yet. So I'm not really going to be using it through this playthrough. Hopefully we won't really need it. I don't think it would be something that you'd absolutely need. As it would be kind of silly if that was the case. But we'll see how things go. Yeah, I just don't see the temple anywhere. It ought to be somewhere around here, though. There it is. There's the temple. I knew it was somewhere around here. I just don't know where exactly. So it's down below us here. Um, okay, so we need to find the door in. Which ought not to be too, too hard. A perennial ore, huh? I think that's important stuff, isn't it? What can I do with perennial ore again? I can make... Oh, I've got my filter on stuff here. I can make perennial bars, and with perennial bars I can make perennial the Reaver set, which is a melee set for the looks of it. Not a bad one. Oh no, it can be all of them. Okay. 15% uh, increased damage, can move through stuff. 40 damage, 70 Hellkite. Summons Flame Geyser. Hmm. Not bad. Um, I don't see anything massively useful about any of these items, so at least not at the moment. Increased damage on under 50% life. Okay. So to get in the uh, jungle temple, of course, you have to find the door. Um, because we got the key from Plantera, we just have to figure out where the door is. And the door will be around one of the uh, sides here. I don't know if it's 
going to be on this side or the other side. And if it's on the other side, it's kind of unfortunate because we're going to have to dig our way all the way around. Um, we, of course, can't actually break into the jungle temple because we haven't got a pickaxe strong enough. We'll have to defeat the temple guardian to be able to get a pickaxe strong enough. I think there's a doorway up here. I think I see one, but I could just be seeing things. We'll see. side. Nope, here it is. Here is indeed the doorway. Perfect. So we're going to unlock that. Uh, we're going to fight our way inside. Um, lots and lots of traps in the jungle temple, of course. Um, very important that you disarm them because they are very, very annoying and also very deadly. They do a lot of damage, which is why we'll be repurposing them later for other things. We'll be turning them into um, our own traps for a arena for a very special occasion. It's not one we have to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He has he has laser beams. Uh, it's not one we have to massively worry about just yet. And thankfully, because our potion of omniscience, we can kind of see where all of them are. These are, of course, the lizard men. If you've never encountered them before, they are uh, slightly annoying. But not a massive problem for us at this point. Um, we do enough damage that we can kind of just tear through them. Uh, we're not going to worry about gra gathering any of the pressure plates, as they're all pressure plates that only activate on player activate. Uh, yeah, player activation. So don't really need to. And there's our first chest. What is in here? What did you give us? You gave us this power cell and the furnace and some fragments. Not bad. Um, we're going to need to put down our safe here and store some stuff uh, as soon as you pick that up. Put that back down. We need to kill that guy because that's the laser dude. We also need to clear out that room down there because that's just an annoying noise. Okay, clear out all this stuff. I uh, know we want to keep those. Toss those away. Toss all these away. Toss all this away. Not worried about any of that. Uh, you can see how the magnet sphere is a very strong weapon, and using it as a caster is great because it just does so much damage. Okay, so I'll pick that back up. Pick all this up, and I'll take this. Uh, we're not going to pick up all these spikes, just because it'd be kind of a pain to try and collect them all, but we will pick up the, uh, the ones along here. Because we don't want the floor to be riddled with spikes, it's just annoying. We're going to throw that magnet sphere up in that direction, just so we don't have to deal with any of the pesky casters. So let's throw that. There we go them off. If we can actually manage to kill the jungle guardian this episode, then we should be golden for the next few parts. We can start focusing on some very interesting items and killing uh, some events, because hopefully the solar eclipse will begin at that point. At least that's what I'm hoping. any of these spikes later. Spikes on the walls, again, can be avoided relatively easily, so I'm not going to worry about those. Let's throw that magnet sphere up there. Just to kill off that guy. These spiky ball traps are probably one of the most deadly traps that you can run across in the jungle temple, so beware of those. Um, at least in my opinion, they tend to be the most damaging because they drop these little balls that are very hard to see, especially if it's dark. Reminds me, we're probably actually going to need those torches for that we threw in our safe. Oh, out spears. Uh, spear traps are probably the least useful of the traps, as they kind of just poke you, and that's it. That's all they do. About as deadly as spikes, honestly. They don't really persist. They don't really cause massive problems. Um, Let's grab that spiky ball trap. 
gather up all this loot. Let's throw down our safe one more time and we will pull out those torches again while throwing in some of this stuff. Thorns. Uh, our ignite potion um, isn't massively useful. I thought it was going to be able to potentially replace a shine potion, but it doesn't really appear to do that. I guess they kind of planned for that contingency, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping to cheese it a little bit, but that's okay. We're not in dire straits just yet because of that. Let's collect all this. The main reason we're collecting the stuff in these uh, chests, by the way, of course, is for the lizard power cells, which will allow us to fight the jungle guardian, or temple guardian. Just gotta be careful of these dirt traps and of these spiky ball traps. Ooh, ouch. The poison, of course, from the dirt traps in the jungle temple does way more damage and is much, much more problematic. Um, but of course, that'll benefit us later on when we use it to our advantage. Sadly, that moment is not right now. Let's kill all those guys. Just run across here, because we don't care about any of these traps. We've already disarmed them. Let's throw that back that direction. Collect all these. And all these. That was a mimic anyway. May have to pick up another gun one of these days as well, um, instead of the paladin's hammer, just because I think a gun might be a little bit more powerful with the chlorophyte arm ammo, but I'm not certain. We'll have to kind of do some tests when we actually get our hands on the chlorophyte ammo. Uh, There's a big old temple we got here. I think this is the temple boss room. If I'm not mistaken, it looks very much like it. So I'm gonna clear it out. And just murder everything inside. So you can kind of see that with the magnet sphere and the vampire knives, we're able to do a lot of damage. I just kind of wreck people. Okay, so we need to gather up this flame traps and gather up these spiky ball traps. Let's see. I think that's disarmed all the traps, so we don't have to worry about any of the rest of these traps. Uh, we'll open this last chest, take everything out of it. Um, let's throw up some torches around this room so we can see, because we're going to need to be able to see. Uh, torch, torch, torch. Uh, throw that down. We're going to need to eliminate these spikes as well. So because we cannot alter this boss room in any way, shape, or form, we're just going to have to deal with it the way it is. Which, thankfully, isn't such a bad thing, because the boss isn't, like, super problematic and that you need a arena for him that much. Um, we just want to make sure that this room is clear of problems before we start. Okay, so now let me put down my safe here. And we're going to load it up with all this other stuff that we don't need. Uh, the extra torches and whatnot. Okay, so that's all the extra stuff we can load up into there. Um, is there anything else we can do at the moment? I don't think so. I think we're pretty much buffed up and ready to go. Uh, okay, I need that to not be a thing. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try and defeat him. So our major focus is we're going to want to get up to the top of the room. Um, we're going to want to throw down all of our, kind of our magic abilities underneath of ourselves. That way he can't really get to us and then we're going to use our range to kind of deal with him. 
Um, we should be able to just heal through his eye lasers pretty effectively. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. You can see that he doesn't do a massive amount of damage to us as is, so we're just kind of cheesing the heck out of him. I don't know if his expert mode has any massive changes, but we should be able to just kind of deal with it. And honestly, the um, him hitting us is great for our mana regeneration, so that's what we're going to kind of use it as. You need to swap kind of between your Magnet Sphere and your Magic Daggers and even our Vampire Knives here to really get the Vanish or benefit out of it. Okay, now he's done the Eye Lasers attack. And are we able to heal through that? Not really. That's unfortunate. So we're going to have to do a little bit of dodging here. Um, I'd much prefer to be able to heal through that. We cannot. You don't want to get in punching range. Those fists do a massive amount of damage. Um, can we actually kind of dodge? No. So those lasers go through walls. There is our bloom guard. Okay, that hurt a lot. We may die here. Uh, no, actually, we're good. Pushed him through eye laser phase. I think we're okay. We do need some healing badly, though. Okay, and we can eat a pie. Okay, so now that he's in this phase, we don't really have to worry about the eye lasers as much because he's not shooting them so rapid fire. Just kind of dodging back and forth. And this is pretty much the golem boss. He's not super, super difficult, but he is a lot of a pain in his own right. Oh no. Oh, that was really unfortunate. That was really close. Um, that was our first attempt at the golem boss. We might have to create some countermeasures to those lasers. I don't know. Um, I don't really know what we'd be able to do in that regard. I think we're just going to kind of have to maybe not worry so much about movement. Because our shield of Cthulhu isn't really helping us out too much. So we might be able to throw on something else instead. Maybe I just think of the Charm of Mists, or even take off our Angel Treads, because, again, those aren't helping us massively. Uh, mobility isn't critical in this fight. Their wings are slightly helpful just because of the ability to fly, but I don't think that that's augmented too much by the Angel Treads. Hmm. We'll have to see. We were really close. I think if we just kind of prepare a little bit more, we'll be fine next time. But, uh, until then. Goodbye.